My name is Jeff Taylor. I'm the Chief Executive of the BPI, which represents record labels in the UK. We have more than 300 independent record label members and the major music companies, Sony Music, Warner Music and Universal. And our job is to try and create an environment in which record labels can thrive and invest as much as possible in new music here in the UK. We aim to be the leading authority on the music market and we've just published our new guide, Music Market 2015, setting out all the statistics regarding the performance of the recorded music business in 2015. The standout achievement in 2015 was the performance of British artists overseas where they secured 13.7% of world sales. That's one in seven records sold around the world. In fact, five of the top 10 best-selling records around the world last year were by British artists. Sam Smith, Ed Sheeran, One Direction, Coldplay, and of course a new artist called Pink Floyd also making the top 10. In fact, if you count ACDC, who are half British, six of the top 10 were by UK performers, which is an astonishing achievement. We also need to give a big thumbs up to the performance of our artists here at home. For the first time in the last 60 years of recorded music history, all 10 of the top 10 best-selling albums in the UK were by British artists. This meant that more than half, 53% of the records sold in the UK were by homegrown artists. And why is it that we've had this phenomenal performance? Well, of course, firstly, it's down to the talent of our artists. As you will have seen at the Brit Awards last year, great artists breaking through like Royal Blood, George Ezra, more established artists like Paloma Faith and Ed Sheeran, all performing tremendously well with great new material. But it's also the investment of the record labels that supports them. British record labels invest more than 20% of their turnover every year in A&R, that's artist and repertoire, the process of finding and nurturing new artists. And they spend the same again on marketing, which means that more than 40% of the revenues of British record labels goes on new music in this country. And that's one of the reasons that we achieve so much both at home and around the world. The most exciting feature of the music market in 2015 was the explosive growth of streaming, which doubled year on year to more than 15 billion streams served to music fans here in the UK. We also saw a slowdown in the pace of decline of CD sales, uh, which fell by less than 10%, suggesting that perhaps physical ownership may coexist more easily with streaming model than was the case for digital downloads. This is something we'll be keeping a close eye on. It really helped our exports in 2014 that we had support from the UK government under a new scheme called the Music Export Growth Scheme. This is where the government has helped to provide some funding for independent labels and music companies to invest in marketing their music overseas. And the BPI, which administers this funding, has distributed more than a million pounds to independent labels to help promote their artists overseas. So 89 small to medium sized music companies have benefited from 1.4 million pounds worth of funding, which has gone to a whole range of acts such as Catfish and the Bottle Men, Young Fathers who won the Mercury Prize, Imogen Heap, Public Service Broadcasting. And we're delighted that this scheme is really helping independent music companies to market their music more effectively overseas and help increase the success of British exports.